Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the overhanging beam. And I will explain how to find out the support reaction for this beam in a very simple and easy method. In just two steps, you will see this is a overhanging beam with a length of 4 meter without any load. This is 8 meter, a simply supported part and again 4 meter without any load. So this 4 meter and this 4 meter is the overhanging portion of portion of the beam. There is a uniformly distributed load of 4 kN acting only on the length of 8 meter. So here is a hinge support and here is a roller support. So to find out and analyze this simply it is overhanging beam. So this is a hinge support so it can take the vertical reaction. It is a roller support so it can also take the vertical reaction. So we have to find out this RA and RB in a very simple and easy method. This is a, this overhanging beam because this portion of the beam is not supported and it is a free end. This is also a free end that's why this is known as the overhanging beam. So now to analyze this beam the first step is a very two step method. First step is to we know that this is a 4 kN load acting on the beam. This is a uniformly distributed load. We should multiply this load with the distributed length on which it is distributed. So it is only distributed on the length of 8 meter. You see here the load is only distributed on the length of 8 meter. So the first step is the uniformly distributed load multiplying it with the distributed length. The distributed length is 8 meter. So this is so meter meter will be cancelled and we got here 32 kilonewton. This is the first step. So now 32 kilonewton is the pointed load or concentrated load. So if I represent it here, this 32 kilonewton, so this will act at the center of the beam. Here. 32 kilonewton. So now this is a single pointed load. Before it was uniformly distributed load and we change this load into pointed or concentrated load which will act at the center of this beam here at this point which is at 4 meter because total length was 8 meter so it will act at the center so this is 4 meter. So step number 2. So first we change the uniformly distributed load into pointed load. Now step number 2 is to find out RA simply divide this pointed load by 2. So it comes out to be 16 kilonewton. In the similar way, Rb is equal to the point load divided by 2, we got 16 kilonewton. So here is 16 kilonewton and Rb is also 16 kilonewton. 16 kilonewton. So this is a very simple and easy method to find out the support reaction for a overhanging beam. What you should do? You should multiply the in the first step you should multiply the uniformly distributed load with the length of the beam on which the load is distributed. For example here the load is only distributed up to 8 meter. That's why we multiply it with the 8 meter. So this will be the pointed load 32 kN and then divide this load by 2 for support reaction A and also by 2 for the support reaction B. So you will find out the support reaction RA and RB. Similarly in this way when you have different load, just multiply this with the distributed length, you will get your support reaction at different points. So this was a really simple and easy method for the overhanging beam analysis. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.